Hello YouTube, Black Mo ASMR, and today, well, or tonight, whatever time it is, where you are, I want to try something different. It's, or this is, um, experimental for me, okay? I will try, um, bubble blowing with bubble gum. The reason I'm trying this is because a long time ago I watched one of uh, the UK ASMR's uh, videos. She was playing with something called Play Doh or Play Do Domo Mundo. <sighs> People think that her mufflers are fixed, I hate that. But she was playing with Mundo and while she was playing with that, um, she was chewing some bubble gum, blowing bubbles, and I actually uh, experienced tingles from that, which is crazy because I didn't know that was possible, so I'm going to try that out. So I bought some bubble gum, yes, and I was looking for bubble gum. I went to a bunch of places. And I finally went to a gas station because, you know, they have bubble gum. And I was like, oh, what flavor should I get? And then I started thinking. I said, hey, I'm black. What do black people like? Watermelon. Yes. So I got watermelon. Oh. I hate bubble gum so much. I hate this. This is the first time I bought bubble gum in like, I don't know, 16 or 17 years. It's been a long time. When I was a kid, I loved it, but now I'm like, I don't know. So, I'm just doing this for the ASMR. I'm making a sacrifice for y'all, so be happy. So, I'm gonna eat this and just talk and blow some bubbles. It might get stuck on my rings. I don't know. I'm just gonna do it. These things never turn right. It's 2014. Redesign these things, people. Also, I was always a bubblicious person. I did not like bubble yum. Mm -mm. <clears throat> so, I used to know one girl, well, I still know her, but she lives in Atlanta, Georgia. But she didn't like watermelon. I was shocked. I was like, how in the world can you? And then I started thinking. I was like, ah, oh, I understand now. I understand. Her mother is white. Her mother is white. Her father is black. So, there's a 50% chance that she would not like watermelon. And she ended up not liking it. That's all right, though. This means more water money for me, right? There we go. Mm. So. Mm. I don't like this. I really don't. not taste bad. It tastes good, but I just want to spit it out. It's 
so I'm going to attempt to blow some bubbles with this and um, I want y'all to let me know if y'all get tingles from it. Sushi today again. Yeah, all you can eat. I had um, 14 pieces of nigiri and I had a roll. The roll is called St. Louis Roll. I'm pretty sure that name varies from location though, but it had, well, it was supposed to have salmon, crab. Honey and cream cheese. But I'm allergic to cream cheese, so I had to remove that. I hate cream cheese. I hate a lot of things. Baby is ready for the first bubble. Let me try. Weak. That's weak. I want a big old one. Yeah. My next video is going to be like a bedtime story, but I don't want to call it that because it's kind of a dark story. The actual name of the story is um, The Nameless Monster, but I'm going to rename it to, well, for the video, I'll rename it uh, The Monster Inside of Me because I think that is more catchy. I got it from an anime called Monster. And one of my subscribers, his name is Randy, he told me about it, so thank you Randy. If you're watching this, thank you for telling me about that anime. Yeah. Okay, bubble number two. I balked that one. Let me try again. Mm. <laughs> oh, no, it's, it's embarrassing, y'all. Oh no, man. Okay. I like bubble shot. I was really good at this. I'll get like big old bubbles like that and they'll like get all over my face and I'll have to peel it off. Yeah, it's been so long. I need to practice. I have a surprise for y'all. Well, it's, yeah. No, it's a nice, not a surprise, but look at this. If y'all watched that um, unboxing number two video, um, 
I mentioned in there that I had a second bottle of perfume coming to me. Here it is. Now this one is called Creed Pure White Cologne. Uh, so, I hate this. They gave me an F. Like I felt something. Why didn't they give me an A? Or at least a B plus. Nope. This won't be considered an unboxing because there is no box. So I have my scissors again. And thanks for all the cool comments under the unboxing video. Yeah, I was very happy with the um, sound quality of that. I was very happy with how everything turned out no interruptions just there's a little glitch in the middle of the video but that's because of this stupid camera I'm using I need a better camera so here we go thanks again and thanks a special thanks to the people who requested it yeah I don't know who y'all are Right now, I'm wearing Creed Aventus. I can't smell it, which sucks, but I know it's there. I don't smell anything. I got this from a company called Surrender to Chance. They're really good. They have reasonable prices, but um, the shipping is super slow. And they sh they do ship to other countries. So. I'm take this out. All right. <gasps> Bubble number three. I forgot about this. Here it is. I think this is 60 milli milliliters. Let me. I guess I should look. Okay. I was supposed to go to a heavy metal concert yesterday. They had a metal concert yesterday, but my car was in the shop. I um, called a taxi, and after an hour of waiting, I had to call the taxi place and cancel because the car place was about to close. Public transportation is horrible over her. I could have ridden a bus, but a bus, our bus rides would have taken me three hours just to get there to the car place. Here it is. That's strange. These people usually give a piece of candy, chocolate, or not chocolate, coffee flavored candy. But then give me one this time. A full bottle. Oh, back to the story. Um, the mobile number four. Yes. <laughs> 
super weak. <coughs> so, yeah. You know, taxi. I waited an hour. Okay. Still so gonna miss that. <coughs> A couple of my friends were like, hey, Luke, you can ride with us. I said, no, no. You know, I have I ended up talking to one of my friends over in um, Denmark. Yeah. And that was actually more enjoyable than the concert would have been. But the concert was supposed to be, well, there were a bunch of bands, but I was going to see Volumes, okay, and another band called Vi Art is murder they're from Australia they're like an Australian version of um, Whitechapel yeah. so I stayed home and talked to my friend in Denmark yep. anyway back to this This is just a sample. It cost me $112. In the unboxing video, I think I said 117. I was wrong, because it's 112. Um, a full bottle of this, an actual bottle, costs, um, I don't know, maybe $650, something like that. And yeah, that's a lot, so. Mm -mm. At least not today. This one used to be called Creed Original Cologne. If you can see that. It used to be called Original Cologne. But Creed changed the name. I don't know why. They changed it to pure white cologne. Maybe they changed it because all the notes were white. So let me take all this. Looks like electrical tape off of there. Bubble number five. While I'm unpilling this. Smells kind of musty. Strange. Me is my finger. I don't know. But yeah, it's this. I've had this before. I mean. This is so good. Wow, it's powerful. <clears throat> it's a very floral. I don't really like floral fragrances that much, but this one's really good. It's so good. It's unisex, 100%. smell great on a guy or a girl so um, this would not 
I turn women on like uh, Creed Aventus. That one's like a masterpiece, really. So. Okay. It smells horrible out of the bottle, but on my skin it smells like. It smells like angels playing volleyball on the beach. That's how it smells. I was out of school this entire week because of spring break. Okay. I had a bunch of homework to do and I didn't do a single bit of it. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'll do some Sunday, but spring break sucked though because we had <clears throat> we had an almost tornado two days ago it was really bad but the city right next to us called University City yeah they had an actual tornado it tore that place up but we had like we got hit by the side of the tornado so it wasn't too bad but yeah, University City is like maybe 15 or 20 minutes away from my house so yeah, one day, one day, I will catch a tornado on camera. Bubble number six. And this will be my last one. But, yeah, I have to go, so, thanks for everything, and <coughs> stay tuned for more videos, I'll keep making them, some of them are going to make y'all well, some of y'all upset, but that's okay. Because I don't get paid for this anyway. So, yeah. We all take care of yourselves, okay? Talk to y'all later.